Right, done the checks. Good morning to everyone. Those who are here already watching, those who will be in replay mode because they've had a lovely sleep in, or not, doesn't matter. <laughs> and those who are anticipating watching it maybe in the future, who knows. I don't know if there's much call for that. It is an in the moment session, isn't it? The live stream that we do here. And good morning to you, Diane. Lovely to have you here. And Keza, yay. Crew starting to gather together. So thank you for being here so early on a Sunday morning. It is Sunday, the 28th of what is November. <laughs> We're fast getting through another year, aren't we? And I have a funny feeling it's my niece's birthday. So happy birthday, Carly. I don't know that she watches this, but I'll let her mother know, my sister. So we're going to switch over to the cards pretty much straight away. I've just, I did remember this morning to actually use the alternative Lenormand decks, one of, <laughs> you'll see that in a sec, because yesterday I actually used the Gilded Brevery from Sarah Marchetti, and that usually is the one I use through a weekday. So I was getting confused and thought it was Friday yesterday and it wasn't, it was Saturday. Yeah, look, that's life, isn't it? So tune into your psychic abilities, your intuitive senses, those gut feelings and listen for the messages that are coming through for you. And good morning, Stephen. How are you this morning? Bright here in Melbourne, isn't it? It's beautifully, beautifully blue skies and sunshine here today. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I have got a little bit of a difference here in this morning's cards you can see what I've just what I've got there now this is the new deck that I'm starting to work with not that I use it exclusively but I'm bringing it in and having a look it's the numbers work numerology cards and it's actually a deck by ba I'll have a look uh, Barbara Allison yeah see this my new camera is coming. Barbara Allison is the creator and it's illustrated by Lisa Pittman. So that's what it is. That one, that one and only, the white with the blue trimmings is one of the new numbers work cards. Okay, it just felt that that was the first one that I wanted to put down and it felt like it wanted to be part of the reading this morning. So I decided, yeah, why not? So that's what I've done. And, of course, the other is this one, the Pixies, Astounding Lenormand. And this one's an Edmund Zabrowski who uh, created these. Now, I'm not sure what's on the back of this, oh, barcodes and all sorts. So it's one of the US games created. They've, cre they've actually produced, or not, is it produced? Manufactured um, under that company name. So you can either look there or a good bookstore holds most tarots um you just do a search for it the pics is astounding if you like this deck so what we have here this morning is the awareness card from the numbers work now i will read that now what i find interesting with this even though it's got the number 14 what that comes down to is the five so that when i found it in the book where i found it in the booklet is actually here there's the awareness, but it's under the fives, the number five. So I found that re it is interesting. I mean, what's numbers? It's it's good stuff to practice your maths, isn't it? But it's, you know, it's the frequency of numbers has been part of that earth creation world, the physical creation and all sorts of things. Good morning, Deb. How are you? Love the outfit. So this one in the fives, it actually is I evoke the keyword is I evoke. You know how some, uh, even with astrology you have keywords for the houses and the planets and the and the zodiac and all sorts of stuff like that. So, and we've got Kerry Ann just popped in now too. Good morning to you, Kerry Ann. Lovely to see you here. So with the evolve, I evolve. Keep that in mind. And here we have the awareness card, that number fourteen, that we can see there. This one. So it's actually regarded as the number of man, the five there, signals increased awareness in divine law and understanding of the individual within the whole of life. So we are bringing forward to ourselves that awareness. And it's a time for inner growth, as it's indicated with these cards. That's why I think it brought 
it, it brought itself, it wanted to be that first central part of the reading to give us that awareness of the importance of looking at these energies today. So what we've got with our pixie cards is the gentleman, we've got the clouds and we've got the anchor. So it's really bringing in the strengthening of the more masculine, the more solidified, the more, uh, you know, holding our ground here with how that gentleman is standing on that sand. And I think it's really great that it's balanced with the anchor on the other side being, you know, sea, water, and there behind this gentleman is the sea, water, sand. So we're actually holding our ground and being able to stand stable in ourselves and having that awareness of what is happening around us. And especially since we've got the clouds here, sometimes we might let the, I'm feeling the emotions in the clouds today as far as what can be stirred up within us. And we're actually going to be having the, um, uh, you know, th those times through the day that might be a little bit area, <laughs> head in the clouds type of thing, and we're not feeling fully grounded. So that's what I'm feeling is that having the awareness of where are we actually at within ourselves, but what is also happening around us in that the physical sense of well weather what 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 are we looking for what's the situations that's around us and sometimes we can feel that it's beyond our control because you know the physical nature of what mother nature is presenting with us it can be very out of our control but in this sense what i'm feeling is that need to hold our ground to stand firm and take that time to actually understand and have that awareness of what it actually means for us on the emotional level as well as the you know how we're thinking about it we can change our perspectives we do not have to think sometimes the way that we might feel because there is a difference we can feel something instantly you know as far as emotions go but it's not actually the reality. It's based on what we have as part of our past experiences and the rest and given us that learned behaviour and way of looking at things. Let the clouds actually, you know, that stirring be the teacher and create a different awareness within us so that we can move on and further anchor in that that is truly us, ourselves, in how we are in our lives and what we're doing what you know for ourselves in that learning but it's it's how that then reflects and blossoms out with the connections that we have with others and yeah they are very interesting aren't they like as far as how it wanted to be laid out this morning very interesting and nicole wonderful to see you here oh that ice bucket i don't know how you can do it <laughs> it's lovely to see you here absolutely the hundred percent there isn't it exactly so i'm feeling you know for what the cards are trying to teach us this morning it really is that central aspect of awareness and uh, and allowing yourself to experience it as well and anchoring in bringing that masculine strength to us and it's not that division of man woman type of sense it is that that is the more uh, Ra energy, um, you know, in in that that is uh, the practical and, and what we're doing in our day as well. So that we're actually almost uh, doing, we, we're putting things in action that are going to clear those clouds if that's what we're wanting to have happen. Because do remember, uh, sometimes the clouds being there, they bring us the rain and continue the cycle of what is the physical aspects of mother nature of gaia mother earth and all the energy the flow all the energy the flow that needs to happen along those lines and especially when we start to feel the different frequencies in all of that energy because that's where i'm coming from as far as a sound therapist and understanding that type of vibration and the healing therapies that I've learnt over the years and been able to whew, experience and share. And I do encourage each and every one of you, wherever you're being led in 
that aspect of feeling frequencies and what energy there is around and about. Um, try and learn more about it for yourself because um, even though there seems to be an umbrella understanding of, you know, frequencies, the different, you know, we've got to get into higher frequencies and all that, test for yourself what's right for you because every single aspect of all spectrums is what we're still needing here. We cannot chop off and leave out any part of it. It is the whole that needs to be involved for each and every one of us to keep learning and growing and being who we are. So I'll leave that with you for a very in-depth Sunday. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day and so much fun and love in your life because it's a beautiful day here. It's the first time in a long time, it seems like it, that we've been able to wake up to an absolutely what looks like forward coming, a beautiful sunny blue sky day, something that you can actually get out in and enjoy without thinking, oh, it's going to rain. Well, that's that's what it's looking like at the moment. So I'm a bit excited. Get some gardening done and stuff too. Thank you so much for each of you being here. And thank you, Keza, for that gorgeous, uh, gorgeous little thank you as well. Um, Nicole, gee, I hope you're not dipping into the back. <laughs> That ice bucket this morning. Um, there you go. Oh, so cold. It, look, each and every one of us needs our own challenges, our own life path. Um, <laughs> love and beauty to each and every one of you as you're moving forward and being the best you that you can be. So namaste until tomorrow, Monday morning at 8 o'clock. Bye for now. Namaste.